Long unnoticed, sea slavery is slowly attracting new attention. Each year, thousands of men from across Southeast Asia are lured to Thailand by the promise of work and money. Once arrived, they are forced to become slaves on Thai fishing vessels. Fishing is a highly lucrative industry for the Thai economy, and according to the New York Times, the United States is the biggest importer of Thai fish. Much of these imports are for U.S. cat food products like I Am's, Meow Mix, and Fancy Feast. And with the average American pet cat consuming 30 pounds of fish per year, American pet owners are filling Thai wallets. Last year, Thailand earned $190 million from its pet food exports. But the Thai fishing industry has too few workers, and that's where sea slaves uh, come in. Often undocumented, often speaking different languages to their captains and often held at gunpoint, these men are enslaved without hope of rescue. Question, are major global corporations like Nestle and Mars Inc. fueling slavery one tin of cat food at a time? Pat Buchanan. I don't believe they are, John. And if they now know this information, they ought to deal with the folks that are selling them the fish for the cats. But frankly, this is a problem basically for the Southeast Asian nations themselves and their navies, and it's something where they're like Somali pirates, people that do that, and they ought to get the same treatment the Somali pirates do, and those folks ought to be liberated. Right. Does this have special interest for you? In view of the fact that you had a cat that you call Cat, a gorgeous white cat, mm -hmm. solid white. We didn't feed him fish, he got lobster, John. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, um, the New York Times did a, an excellent piece of reporting, I and mean, this is really a tragic story, and first of all, they're overfishing the waters, the boats are going further out, they stay out for months at a time, people are kept in horrendous uh, conditions. I think when Americans become aware of this, the, from a public relations standpoint, the companies that are involved are going to be just as worried about doing business this way as they remember slave labor and sneakers and clothes made in these countries and the corporations reacted. I would hope that the corporations do react here and especially if we're going to be entering into a, uh, a trade agreement with countries in that region. This is uh, something of should be of great interest to the U.S. administration. Uh, Rogan, that this, she's feeding a question that I want to ask you. Will you look for a can label slavery-free product before you buy? Well, I don't eat cat food, but if I had a cat, I wouldn't buy. Yes, I think I would. Yes. It would. I think what we'll see, as Eleanor suggests, is that we're going to be moved to a situation as with tuna that people wanted to see that it was not dolphins were not killed. So this will be no slaves were involved in this cat food. I think that will happen. I think the New York Times reporter is probably going to yeah. get a Pulitzer because it's going to be a quick cycle. Uh, but there's a well, broader are you pro cat or anti cat or neither. I, I'm well, I'm neither. You like cats? I have no problem with cats. I don't have a cat. But cats but a, are intriguing. You yeah. don't know what they're thinking. Yeah. They but come the, over and they kind of rub your leg and well, they the, look at you. There's one final broader issue here with the oceans is that okay. it ju it's just one example okay. of a lot of issues we have in the oceans and plastic in the ocean toxicology. Um, right. My yeah, uncle and brother work for a group, Ocean Alliance, that does whale toxicology right. tests. The, the, and the oceans are hurting. The, the the ocean's ocean's anything hurting. that brings attention to but, that is a good what, thing. What, what we're at least looking at here is the fact that a lot of these uh, fishing boats, so call them what you will, bring people in from some of the countries in uh, Asia, and they're virtually slaves, okay? They, they have been, they get terrible wages, they get terrible conditions, yes. and they're, they're, they can be held there for months at a time. So this is the kind of thing that, in a sense, uh, they use it because they're, they're so inexpensive, and this is something that has to be addressed. You think that the Thai government should be faulted and faulted strenuously? Yes, absolutely. Prediction. Pat. John, issues like abortion and the Planned Parenthood thing and the gay rights thing has caused a number of folks on the paleo right, if you will, to talk about something called a Benedict Option, which is uh, basically a secession from the society sort of in general, you know, goes back to the old monasticism of the 13th century. Hello. Uh, if there's anything good to come out of the knucklehead American dentist who killed the lion, uh, it's that the lid has been blown off of these uh, companies that uh, conduct these big game hunting trips and charge tens of thousand dollars to rich people to get a trophy on their wall. I hope they come in for some heavy regulation. 
Quickly. Yeah, uh, I, I th I'm going off Cecil the line. I think the big story coming out of this uh, is that actually American popular society, we should be embarrassed that we've been so attentive to this mm -hmm. and not to so many other issues like the Syrian refugee mm -hmm. crisis uh, or international politics, anything really. You like lions? No, always. Everybody uh, seems uh, to. Yeah, I live with them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sure. I work with them too. But let me just say, I, I, the man whom I think is going to emerge and surprise everybody is Governor Perry of Texas. I, have, I was just witness to his performance uh, last week, and he was phenomenal. He was very knowledgeable, very forceful, had a great sense of humor. He is an underestimated candidate. That's good to hear. I predict the Senate will narrowly pass a bill next week to defund Planned Parenthood and divert the $528 million in taxpayer subsidies it now receives to <laughs> clinics and hospitals for women's health programs. Enough Democrats will get on board to overcome the 60-vote minimum needed to bring legislation to the floor. Bye-bye. <laughs>